Approximately 9 million people in the UK say that they often feel lonely. But why do we feel lonely? Being social is part of our biology. In the cave times, being social and part of a group meant survival. Being alone meant death. To avoid this, we evolved social pain. This is the pain you feel due to rejection, bullying, or loss. Is there a moment in your life that you distinctly remember feeling lonely? Yes. Oh. <laughs> um. I don't think so. So, it being alone doesn't really bother me. Doesn't really affect me. I think when starting new things, it can be a bit lonely. Um. I don't know quite a few. That sounds bad. <laughs> no. Um. I guess I felt loneliest if I was trying to fit into a new club, but I don't know of one there. I think when I was in school, I didn't have a lot of friends. I was a bit wicked, uh, which is fine. Um, I can find out, but when I was in school, I had like four friends that I hung around with, and um, they were in all my sets, so there'd be a lot of classes where I just didn't have any friends. And um, I remember there were, there were some classes that I used to. I would just sort of uh, try and skip to school for a day if I had a class that I really didn't want to be in. Or, um, like, there was one class that I really hated because I didn't have any friends there, I didn't like how I went in the class, and I felt like shit whenever I went into it. My last one. And so, like, I, I got, like, permission from the school to just not be in the class because I just I wouldn't go in otherwise. Uh, so that was fun. I didn't really enjoy, like, the first half of school because of that. But, um, it got a little bit better towards the end, and then I went to college and I was fine. But yeah, probably the start of school wasn't very fun, especially because I moved like from a school from a different district, so I hadn't gone with anyone from my school to high school. I was the only one from my school, uh, which kind of sucked. Would you describe yourself as an introvert or an extrovert? I don't really know. Um, I've, I guess, when I meet new people, I'm quite, I can be quite quiet, but once I get to know people, I can get a lot louder. I guess it depends who I'm with, but I do get my energy from being with people rather than being alone. I really don't like being alone, so I guess probably an extrovert. I think I'm more introverted, but I do like to spend time with other people on occasion as well. I'm a very home body type of person, and I like my like being alone and my space a lot. Would you consider yourself to be a lonely person? Um, not at the moment. I think um, when I'm not at uni it's a little bit harder because I live so far away in the countryside from everyone and um, I don't drive so there are times when it can get kind of isolated there and that kind of is bad but I have friends that live nearby um, so it's like I always dread the summers but they're never as bad as I expect them to be because I have to spend a lot of time doing stuff but I always think that I'm not going to um, but yeah I think I'm not good at being on my own I get a lot of energy from other people, so um, if I do spend long periods on my own, I'll feel lonely, but generally, I'm alright. Uh, I think sometimes I am lonely, but then again, I do prefer to have time to myself, just to reflect, and I think sometimes you don't always like need to spend time around other people, like, you sometimes need that sort of personal space. Uh, I don't to do this, but sort of when you're trying to fit into new surroundings and when you're introverted there's you don't always know what to what sort of conversations to start with so it can be you can sort of feel that bit of separation it can take a while for people to sort of connect so how would I describe loneliness? Um, uh, it's probably like... Oh, that's such a deep question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, it feels like you always have this sense that you're missing out, but you don't know what you're missing out on. 
a negative feeling to being alone and like to social relationships and to not having social relationships and to being alone. Um oh. I guess loneliness is sort of like oh just it's sad really. You sort of get that ache there. Mm. And um, it kind of takes a number on your self esteem because you know if you feel like other people don't want to spend time with you, you internalize that. And a lot of it is just in how you view yourself. And I think um, now that I've gotten older and I've spent more time with more people, I'm a lot more confident in myself. But when I was lonely, I had a really negative self image. And I think a lot of it, they both kind of fed into each other. If that makes any sense. And um, when you think of a lonely person, what image do you like picture in your mind? Oh, um, I always associate it with school, so I always associate like school kids who don't have a lot of friends because it's from personal experience, which sounds sad, <laughs> but um, but it's just it, but it's something I know that goes on as well, so. Yeah, I guess I associate it with that. I would think more old people are lonely because it, it's like people don't really like pay attention to them or they don't really give them attention. Yeah. yeah. As homeless people would often feel loneliness because if they're sort of on the streets, it's likely because they don't have anyone to reach out to. So I think they're sort of the first sort of ca category of people that would come to mind uh, when thinking of lonely people, I suppose. And um, so would it surprise you to know that 40% of people aged 16 to 24 say that they feel lonely often? I don't think that really surprises me. I, I don't know why it doesn't surprise me that that's the thing. Because there are often like lots of places you can reach out to, but it's just... I don't know, I guess there's that feeling of weakness if you want to, if you don't want to reach out to someone. I mean, probably not, because like that's the age where you're still sort of finding yourself and giving a lot of importance to social relationships and no not really especially people who aren't in university i think you know if you go straight from school to a job i feel like you might be more lonely there than it is going to uni and having more social experiences that's just from what i've seen but yeah that doesn't surprise me and then in comparison to that, would it surprise you that only 29% of people between the ages of 65 to 74 say that they're lonely? Uh, I thought it would be higher to be honest. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, that kind of surprises me a little bit because you would associate loneliness with old people sort of sitting in the care home kind of thing, so... Just a bit, yeah. Again, I don't think that really surprises me because that would be sort of like grandparents' ages. I think some grandparents are sort of left on their own because all the younger people in the family are sort of going on with their lives, so they might not always make the time to go and visit them, which is sort of depressing, but unfortunately that is how it is for some people. It's sad, no one should feel like that, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs>